Hi, this is Two Real Films, and today I'm going to show you my HO scale layout that I've been working on for about a week or two. Um, I, as you can see, I have some progress done. It's kind of messy here. Um, so, it's, it's all started with just a picture in mind, and then I just thought, eh, hey, why not, I'll just make... I'll make, I'll try and make something, but this is what I have so far. So I'm trying to go for a rural look, like countryside, like, um, supposed to be like a wide, like a, like it's mostly like grasslands, like, like road, like, it's just supposed to look countryside, like, like, like a country. Um, well that's, that's the blueprint so far. Um, I have foam boards here that I'm using for support since there's a large gap in the middle here. I'm just using that so the track doesn't, so there's no stress on the track and the connectors don't bend, which is not good. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to find foam boards that I can use for this whole table and then, and then just like, so I don't have to keep using little separate pieces to fill the whole table, which is not good for me. Um, it's a traditional oval layout, but I added a left-hand turnout with a rolling stock where, the, where, there, where there'll be. Um, and it stops at the buffer. Um, I'm currently deciding which trains to run on this track. I have my trusty old Bachman, my Bachman Thoroughbred. It came with four cars. Um, this one, this one, no, not this one. Uh, this one, this one. Uh, where is it? Oh, I lost it. Oh, and this one. Um, I have my Bachman Chattanooga. I might have pronounced that wrong, sorry if I did. Um, this was my first train set, and I was one happy kid. <laughs> it came with like five cars, and one of them's broken. Wah wah. Um, so I have that. I have my Bachman trolley, which I got for Christmas. This is really cool. I, it went well with some of my other layouts, but... I don't know. It's it makes a weird sound when it moves, but it's fine. Um, and this, this one, this one is the only broken train uh, locomotive that I have. I'm pretty sure this is a lifelike product. I look um, people more uh, more people in the hobby might be able to tell if this is by lifelike. I look at the couplers. I'm pretty sure it is because I've seen this on Google Images and it said lifelike on the box so I'm pretty sure it is lifelike and if I'm wrong can you uh, please tell me in the comments what it is because I need to repair this thing. Um, I'll show you what's wrong with it actually right now. Okay so this is the problem I've had with this train so far. So. So these are the the wheels that pick up the electricity. All fine, fine. They roll, but these don't roll. I might have a I might have a solution to that, or I know a solution to that. So when you line this up on, the, note that this is a separate, uh, a different brand. It's not Bachman, but it still works fine. Um, when you plug it in, and you use the throttle. Watch the train. Well, as watch the train uh, when I use the throttle. Okay. Okay. Watch closely. This is full throttle. Okay. Answer time.
So, what you just saw was pretty disappointing when I first opened this. Yeah, it was very sad because I had I had a lot of good thoughts about this train on my layout, but I'm I'm fifty or sixty percent sure that I have a solution to this. Um, see when you when you open this up, there's the motor, and then the motor. The motor is connected, uh, has a uh, shaft, a drive shaft, which then connects to the front wheels, right here, um, which makes them spin. That's why they're not spinning, because the shaft broke in two. The motor works fine. Um, I just need to replace the shaft. I can put something in the middle to replace it, like a twig or something. I don't know. But I have to find a part. I hope, I really hope they still support this. I'm not sure, but this thing looks old. Maybe five, ten years old. I'm not even sure they still support it, so... I have hope in this train. So... I'll tell you more about the situation later. Okay, now about scenery. Scenery is the uh, one of the biggest factors in model railroading, and... It can really help to add effect to your layout. In this case, I don't have much scenery. I just have a few trees I got at Rite Aid. Like five or six of them. And they work fine. I got this grass mat a couple of years ago when I got that when I got um that first train set, the Bachman Chad Nuga. Um so I wanna I wanna uh, upgrade my scenery. Like get a road kit to make nice looking roads because I've been using um Construction paper. Uh, I'm using construction paper for my roads, um, and that looked fine for a, a couple of layouts. But I just want to change it up a little bit. Um, we got some scenery for the tracks, like ballast or like gravel, just to add more realism. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll upgrade to DCC so I can run like if maybe if I. Like I um, upgrade all these trains to DCC, and I can run like five billion trains on these tracks, and that'll be pretty cool. But so far, just plain old DC. Um, so that's it about scenery. Um, that's what I that's what I really need for this layout. Um, just to make it, just to change it up a little bit.